So today, we're going to be upgrading our sound system because we have none. Stay tuned. Hey mom, look, the boys are back in town. So as y'all saw, we are going to be upgrading our sound system with just a simple little $116 media player and two four inch speakers and then obviously the adaption harness which as you can see there's nothing left of this one so i'm gonna have to figure out what's going where and what's going on with all this wiring but first i think i'm just gonna test fit these make sure everybody fits pretty well in there and then maybe run the speaker wiring and then mess with the head unit and obviously i gotta mess up there but it was pretty freaking simple to put in Of the wires running out these just plug in straight in the back so it's no big thing fortunately that space is a little small so i couldn't put in the uh guards for them how many of y'all actually run the guards over your speakers i just curious because i've gotten i've done speakers and the forerunner some other buddy speakers and like i've never used them now i really wish i could but i can't so i shan't but let me know down in the comments what y'all are doing so now i'm gonna run it I mean, what a foot, a whole foot over to here. Now it's time to play with the wire. So we have this beautiful Boss Audio System Elite. I have a Boss Sub in my Forerunner. I got some other uh, higher end kickers and uh, kicker and uh, what's the other one? Now I can't think about it. Uh, some higher end audio equipment in there, but you know what? I was just kind of on a whim. Just decided, let's go with it. This is Bluetooth and no CD player. Look how freaking small it is. I am impressed with how small it is. And it can push a freaking other stuff. Shoo-wee! But what I plan on doing is actually either splicing into that because the adaption piece that I got is just, it's it's got so many freaking wires. And there's only like four in here or five. So, I think I'm just going to splice into it, and if I have to put it on a switch, I'll put it on a switch. Let's pull out the battery tester and figure out what goes with it. So, if we flip over to the on position, excuse the turn signal, we get power off our red one there, power there, ground off this black one here. So, we get power, our our AC power, our backup power, we can ground it out right there as well. So we got, we got all three, bada bing, bada boom, and the power antenna. So that's off for like a sub, so that obviously we don't need that for now. But yeah, let's get a wire. So like I said, I got the power, main power, side power, and ground, and obviously that all worked out. But like I said in the last video <laughs> about the headlights, you know, you just got to double check stuff and make sure, you know, what's what and this and that. So like I said, you just got to double check, make sure what's what, because that is two powers running off the same cable. I'm going to test it and see what happens because I like testing things to see what happens. Plus this, uh head unit has a fuse in it so if worse comes worse it'll blow the fuse but i don't know very interested very interested to see what's about to happen so we're gonna turn on uh, the key ignore the the thing turning uh, i need to set y'all up somewhere Hot at home. set y'all up right here so we're gonna test it. Yep, we got power going to the power A, power to power B, and we're grinding it out. So we should be good to go. All on that. Now I'm just gonna run the quick speaker wire, speaker wire, and then get those wired up to here. Also, this has four, so I got my two little fours there, but I'm also gonna do two uh, six by nines over there on that panel and then obviously down below here there's another space six by nine and probably try to figure out somewhere where i can mount them either in the plastics or put a bracket from there 
to there. Try to get it on fit. But that's for a later date. That is something else I'm going to work on. So let me get this wire hooked up and we'll give it a go, I guess. You hear that? Not the beautiful exhaust. Pacing this room for 40 hours. So we got it obviously hooked up. It was not that bad. Like I said, I'm gonna do six by nines back there, but that's for a later date. Bah, bah, bah. Thank y'all for watching this video.